Welcome to our channel. In today's digital world, cybersecurity is more important than ever. Whether you're at home, work, or on the go, cyber threats can strike anytime. That's why today, we'll be talking about common cyber threats and how you can protect yourself. Let's dive into some of the most common cyber threats. First, we have malware, short for malicious software. This is any software designed to harm your computer, from viruses to spyware. Malware can steal your data or even damage your system. Then there's ransomware. Hackers use this to lock you out of your own files or system and demand a ransom to release them. It's a growing threat that can cripple businesses and personal devices alike. Another big one is phishing. You've probably seen those fake emails or messages pretending to be from trusted sources. Their goal? To trick you into giving away sensitive information like passwords or credit card numbers. Next up is the dreaded data breach. This happens when hackers gain unauthorized access to confidential data, like customer records or personal details, often leading to identity theft or financial loss. And lastly, we have DOS attacks, or denial of service. In this attack, hackers flood a website or network with traffic to overwhelm it, causing the system to crash and denying legitimate users access. Encryption, it's your first line of defense in cybersecurity. But what is it, exactly? Encryption turns your readable data into scrambled code, so even if hackers get their hands on it, they can't read it without a special key. There are two main types of encryption, symmetric, where the same key is used to lock and unlock data, and asymmetric, where a public key encrypts and a private key decrypts. The private key stays secure, so only you can access the data. You use encryption every day, when shopping online, sending messages, or visiting secure websites. Look for the padlock icon in your browser. Encryption keeps your data safe from prying eyes. Stay secure, stay encrypted, and subscribe for more quick cybersecurity tips. Authentication, it's how you prove you are who you say you are when accessing online services. Let's break it down. First, there's password-based authentication. You enter your username and password, and if they match the stored credentials, you're in. But that's not always enough. Two-factor authentication, 2FA, adds an extra layer of security by combining something you know, like a password, with something you have, like a code sent to your phone or even your fingerprint. And we also have biometric authentication, which uses your fingerprint, face, or voice to verify your identity. It's fast and secure because it's hard to fake. Authentication keeps your account safe by ensuring only you have access. So, use strong passwords, enable 2FA, and stay secure. Subscribe for more cybersecurity tips. Malware can be lurking anywhere online, waiting to infect your device. That's why having anti-malware protection is so important. But how does it work? Anti-malware software scans your device for harmful files like viruses, spyware, or ransomware. It identifies threats and removes them before they can cause damage. Most anti-malware tools offer real-time protection, which means they constantly monitor for suspicious activity and block threats as they happen. Keeping your software up to date is also crucial. New malware is created all the time, and updates ensure your anti-malware can detect the latest threats. Stay protected by regularly running scans, keeping your software updated, and avoiding suspicious downloads. Subscribe for more cybersecurity tips. These trends will drive innovation in security technologies to address increasingly complex cyber threats, emphasizing the need for cybersecurity professionals and new technologies.